High hopes for an indigenous-led bid for the 2030 Olympic and Paralympic Games fizzled today. The bid by four host nations, Lilawat, Squamish, Musqueam and tsleil is facing collapsing support. Ultimately, we came to the decision uh, to not uh, support a 2030 bid at this time. Minister of Tourism Lisa Baer says the hard costs for BC's involvement in the 2030 Olympic bid are about $1.2 billion. And government had to take a look at that bid and weigh it, uh, its costs, its risks, its potential benefits against government priorities like health care, like public safety, like, uh, um, you know, investing in the cost of living. Of Vancouver. She says BC is already committed to hosting the 2026 FIFA World Cup and the 2025 Invictus Games. However, Bear says the costs of the bid would jeopardize the government's ability to deal with pressures facing the province. The chief of the Musqueam First Nation says it had wanted to hold a meeting with David Eby, soon to be Premier, and the new mayor of Vancouver to talk about any concerns with the bid. Upset. Um, uh, with the news, but more really upset with a, uh, um, I guess, uh, lack of respect that the uh, provincial government showed uh, to our community and to the, the host nations. This kind of uh, sidetracking kind of hit us with a left hook. The federal minister of sport says the ministry will continue working with all parties on other sporting opportunities. In a statement, Minister Pascal Saint-Ange said this bid could have set an important and groundbreaking precedent for future games in terms of reconciliation, sustainability and inclusivity. The opposition BC Liberals also pointed to the province's move as a lost opportunity. It doesn't really reflect a government that actually um, uh, practices what it preaches when it comes to reconciliation. Uh, the, the economic opportunities for First Nations and for all British Columbians with this Olympic bid are significant. The municipalities of Vancouver and Whistler have both said they're disappointed with the decision. The four host nations, the Canadian Olympic Committee and the Canadian Paralympic Committee will be holding a news conference Friday. Mira Baines, CBC News, Victoria.